but that show wasn't doing too well either. So I believe this is what's going on. So what's going to be very interesting is what's next for Jalen Rose and for all these guys. Because the most obvious um, uh, bounce back right now is that job with Skip Bayless at Undisputed. And although Jalen Rose and Skip Bayless probably have big differences that they wouldn't am uh, amend. Uh, because Skip and Jalen Rose are both very proud human beings. They would just be such a great match. Like Jalen Rose arguing with Skip Bayless on TV all the time would be a great fit. This is like heaven on earth for Skip Bayless right now. People would tune in just because of the real past drama that these guys had. And obviously Jalen Rose would bring that balance to Skip Bayless, bring the analysis, the player perspective, everything that's needed. I don't know about his football talk. I don't really follow him that much uh, within that field, but I believe Jalen Rose would be a great fit. So if I'm Skip Bayless, I'm picking up that phone right now and I'm apologizing for whatever uh, wrong I did to Jalen Rose and I'm begging him to come on the show. But I don't think that happens. Um, the other way that Jalen Rose could maybe go, he could either retire or go the independent route, in my opinion. I believe Jalen Rose has the personality and the clout in the game to actually have a podcast, bring on guests, and talk about the game. He could do that forever. Even not just talk about the game, but he's very familiar, you know, with entertainment overall, especially rap music, hip hop. So maybe he can focus on that and head that way. I don't know. This guy's the limit, in my opinion, for Jalen Rose. I don't think this is the last that we see from him. He's also very into touch within the fashion industry and in Detroit and he, it seems like this is something that he really likes to put on bringing on the Detroit culture onto the mainstream world so maybe he focuses on that so I'm not really worried about Jalen Rose I just believe that this will be a huge loss for ESPN ultimately because yeah at key moment Jalen Rose insights was just always appreciated in my book so yeah um we can speculate all day about why Jalen Rose in particular and not other guys uh i can't wait also to see that full list of those 20 on-air personalities will be let go of and about the new uh, organization that the espn will have to run on tv but yeah uh, we're gonna probably make another video about this in the future so get in the comment section for now give me your thoughts uh, about the firing where you said did you foresee it coming and who's next on the list and i'll see you guys later peace the opportunity to showcase his ability to carry a show by himself so coming up with topics and everything although get up was fun and um uh, Jalen, uh, i forget the name of his show that he has uh that he brings on rappers and uh let's talk about Jalen rose and espn and Jalen rose has just been let go of i can't believe it the man was out there for 13 season uh and it was one of my favorite uh, personalities that we had on the show, especially from the next player. I believe it was very articulate. It was also very marketable. Uh, he, he, he brought nice insight, everything, and he had some classic viral moments on there. Uh, he was there for... Uh, he was the one actually who went at Paul Pierce, you know, when he, he called out D-Wade or whatever. He had the water pistol Pete moment with Skip Bayless. And he had so many other countless moments. And I, I really like uh, Jalen Rose or contribution to the show uh so let me just read this article real quick from espn it says that more players are leaving the field at espn max Kellerman, the tv host Keishan johnson the morning show personality jeff van gundy the veteran basketball analyst and jalen rose the nba player turned commentator are all exiting the disney sports media giant according to two people familiar with the matter as executive looks for ways to prune costs at the operation as its parents corporation grapples with is make changes in its business. Given the current environment, ESPN has determined it necessary to identify some additional cost savings in the area of public facing commentator salaries and that process has begun. So this exercise will include a small group of job cuts in the short term and an ongoing focus on managing costs when we negotiate individual contracts renewals in the month ahead. Approximately 20 people are being notified Friday that they will no longer appear on ESPN properties, according to one of the people's familiar with the matter, even if their contracts will be extended for months. So, yeah, man, it's just a lot that's going on at ESPN, at the network. And I think that um, with the big uh, layoff of people, uh, with Disney saying that they have to let go of 5,000 people in total, they kind of reassess the strategy and they will just focus on guys that can carry a show by themselves. I think this is what they're, they're trying to do. Obviously, by signing Pat McAfee to that $85 million deal, 
uh, obviously keeping Stephen A. carrying first take and having his uh, his, uh, his rotational uh, host on there. Although I believe they're still trying to cut short some of that, and maybe they will focus and or, or try to bring him to actually have one co-host so they can lay go of all the others because he's been very vocal about liking to work uh, with Keishan Johnson, for example, and they still let go of him, you know. There was also a lot of rumors saying that ESPN was going after both Shannon Sharp and Colin Coward because both of these guys are big enough personalities that they should be able to carry a show by themselves. So I believe this is the strategy that they're going to do. And if you look at the guys that they let go of, Max Ketterman, on two instances, he's shown that carrying a show by himself was just not doing very good. Jalen Rose, although he was great as, a, as an analyst and as a co-host, he never, you know, uh, got...